Welcome back to Bug A Day, here from the Little Kids' first big book of bugs. Today we are going to talk about how to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. Let's take a closer look. Which is which? Take a peek at two similar insects. Here's one. Now here's another. One is a butterfly and one is a moth. Let's figure out how we know which is which. Most butterflies fly around during the day. Most moths fly at night. Butterflies have knobs on the ends of their two antennae. Take a look. There they are, the darker dots on the end. Moth antennae have no knobs and some are shaped like feathers. Let's take a look. You see how those antennae are thicker and more feather-like? The scales on the wings of butterflies and moths reflect light in different directions like lots of tiny mirrors that gives the insects their many colors. Let's take a closer look at a few butterflies and moths. This is the Isabella tiger moth. Let's zoom in on the facts. The Isabella tiger moth makes its home in meadows, fields, prairies, woods throughout much of North America. The food for the larva, they eat many plants and the adult does not eat. What? It can lay several hundred eggs at a time. Its predators are bats, birds, spiders, wasps, and flies. It has a complete metamorphosis and you can see there, it's about the size of your palm. I used to love finding these woolly bear caterpillars when I was young. I wonder if you've ever seen one. The woolly bear caterpillar turns into this moth. Tiger moth caterpillars, also called woolly bears, are more famous than the moths they turn into. Woolly bears are commonly seen in the fall. They are fuzzy, black at each end and brown in the middle. The adult moth only lives four to five days. This amazing caterpillar freezes all the way through its body during cold winters. Wow. In the spring, it thaws and is still alive. It has a special kind of antifreeze in its body that keeps it alive. The Isabella tiger moth is active at night when it flies around looking for a mate. Let's zoom in on that woolly bear. In places where winters are long and very cold, a woolly bear may live through as many as 14 winters before it becomes a moth. How amazing. There are about 160,000 species of moths. Here are a few of the world's moths. This is the elephant hawk moth. It feeds at night, sipping nectar from honeysuckle and other flowers. The comet moth is also called the Madagascan moon moth. This is the atlas moth. The atlas moth is one of the largest moth species. It can grow so big it would almost cover this book. Uh, whoa. The Morgan's Sphinx moth drinks nectar deep inside flowers called orchids. It uses its very long proboscis to reach inside.
Now, friends, let's play a game. Can you match each caterpillar to its moth or butterfly? Can you? Let's take a look. This blue butterfly at the beginning, letter A. Hmm, which caterpillar? Number one, two, three or four, which one do you think is that one's caterpillar, the blue, the bright blue? If you said number two, you're right. That is a match. Let's look at B here. Hmm. Hmm. Which caterpillar is for B? Is it number one, three, or four? If you said number one, you're right. That is a match. Let's look at C. So we know it can't be number one, and we know it can't be number two. So it's either number three or four. Which one matches here? Yeah, you may remember it's the woolly bear. That means that letter D has to be, ding, 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 number three. I wonder how many of those you got right. And remember, learning isn't about knowing. It's about coming to that knowledge. Let's do our handshake. Up, down, wiggle, wiggle, pop. Love you guys. Bye, friends.